What's up, everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back finally on our Let's Play world. Um, so I was taking down the sugarcane farm, and there's this trident guy somewhere, I think. Oh, yep, there he is. He's attacking. I hate it. Uh, so actually, now that we have full diamond armor, uh, I can block his shots pretty easy. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, it's <laughs> been, uh, whenever this video comes out, I think, uh, it should be about two weeks since the last episode and I'm very, very sorry. I haven't played this world in a couple weeks, uh, only because I wanted to take a small break, uh, just kick back, relax, do my own little thing for a little bit. Um, nothing really caught my attention Minecraft wise. So I didn't want to come back and just uh, keep on making videos just because I had to make videos to get them out every other day. Uh, that, and we also had the holidays and that sort of stuff. So hopefully everybody had a good new year's. Uh, I know I uploaded, I think on Christmas day, I'm pretty sure. And then I uploaded, uh, a couple days after that, but yeah, it's been a little bit. So I haven't seen you guys since last year. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, funny, right? So, yeah, but for real, I hope you guys had a good New Year's and uh, you spent it with either family, friends, or you just chilled out on your lonesome. You know, a lot of people I, uh, I know this year, they, they kind of chilled out for their um, New Year's. So they didn't do too much. They kind of just kicked back, relax. But today we're going to be doing a little bit of building and we're definitely going to need that die, but we're also going to need a little bit of lapis. Um, so last episode we made that mob farm and I AFK'd at it for probably about 10 minutes <laughs> until I got off of my world. Uh, and, but in that time I was able to get a little bit of gunpowder and some bones, especially the bones. I need, I need the bones. Um, I thought I had dispensers somewhere. Maybe I used them in the mob farm. Uh, let's slightly concern. Do I have a ton of blocks down there still? I probably do. Hopefully the, oh yeah, we need to come through and pretty this up, I guess. Eventually, eventually we will. Um, yeah, so an enderman blot, brought a grass block down here, which is kind of weird. So I just kind of kept it there because why not? Uh, no, I don't have dispensers in there. So we need dispensers because I need to get a bunch of red dye. And then I'm going to use the lapis, make some blue dye out of that real quick. Uh, and we're going to make purple dye. And we're going to be using that purple dye in uh, a bunch of glass. So I think actually, I, I don't even know if I have a lot of glass. I should probably get that first, right? I doubt I have any in the, the furnace. Fern eye. Um... Oh, I, oh, I do have a little bit of sand. Snad. Uh, I think all the glass that I do have is white stained glass. So, yeah, we're just going to pop that in there real quick. Pop that in there. Uh, still can't. I hate that you can't blast for the sand. I say that every single time, I, I think. And I still hate it. It sucks. Why can you not? Why can you not do that? Is my question. So, um, let's take this out. Fill that up real quick. Boom. Okay, we got one piece of glass. Awesome. So, while that's smelting... Oh, it's becoming nighttime. I guess we're going to sleep first. But I need to set up uh, a couple... Or even one dispenser would probably work enough. Um, but I need to set up a dispenser. Put some bone meal in it. And then bone meal up some rose bushes. So that way we can get a bunch of this red dye. Uh, probably use this bone meal as well. Let's see. Do I have any rose bushes in here already? Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay, I'll take... Actually, we only need to keep one really, right? Okay, well that's pretty darn close to what we need. Actually, I don't even know... This will make two, right? So that, I mean, that's quite a bit of glass, right? <laughs> that That's what, eight stacks of glass? Uh, so I actually, do you make magenta dye doing, no, 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 no. And you need to make a white dye first and then you make purple. How do you, how do you make magenta? Is it pink and purple? Well, luckily they added pink petals to the game. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is. It is pink and purple. All right. 
So let's just do this real quick. Do that. Two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Okay, and it only makes one, one pink die. Good. So, yeah, we need magenta and purple dye. So that actually... That might be enough. Uh, what I have planned is I, I need to make a place for a brewing stand, but I want to make it super cool because, you know, you do everything in Minecraft really cool whenever you make it for a YouTube video, right? <laughs> so, wow, that was a lot of XP stored up in there. So I need I want to take this brewing stand, uh, and we actually don't really have the blaze rods to make potions yet. I don't think do I do I have any oh I do have some blaze powder that's good so I, I want to uh, you know what eventually we'll go to the end it could be in a couple episodes who knows <laughs> I, I it, it would bring about a lot of new projects for me to do and I, I'm still kind of content with what we're doing in the overworld and uh, I also still need to go to the nether and stuff and do stuff in there so I'm kind of content with how the world is right now, but you know, my mind could change and I could be like, boom, dragon time, baby. And we'll, we'll do that. But for right now, I'm sticking in the overworld. I want to, I want to be able to grow this, this area around here, uh, make it super duper freaking cool. Also that just reminded me, uh, I got to, Redo these signs. Uh, oh, actually, while we have purple dye, might as well. Also some white dye. So white dye, purple dye, and then that's light blue. So boom, easy peasy. Okay, Rogue Outcast, $5 supporter, 11.30.23. So that has to go up to Rogue outcast yes all right so rogue outcast light blue of course oh wait i need to go get glow squidding don't i oh man i think i need to get more too i think i'm almost out actually in my chest mm, we'll find out here in oh oh no i have 11 wow that's a lot more than i thought uh the glass that we're smelting up should definitely be enough for the project boom rogue outcast five dollars uh supporter for two months thank you so freaking much for another month of your gratitude uh let's see tom millard three dollars supporter started tom millard started uh three hold on three dollars supporter exclamation mark of course uh, started on 12-1-23-2023. Uh, what is going on with my game? It just flashed black for a little bit. Two months. I spelled that right, right? Okay, Christian Robbie. Yes. Okay, Christian Robbie. Two months. Wow. Thank you guys again for two months. Uh, if you guys want a tree, a special tree along the path of trees, uh and get some more of these spots filled uh if you're if you cancel your membership your tree does stay so don't worry about it uh if you only wanted to do one month then it's perfectly fine but thank you guys so much for the support on patreon youtube and then christian robbie is the channel member so amazing freaking amazing thank you guys so much uh all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cut real quick i wanted to carry you guys along through that journey uh definitely not trying to get the the video time up while we wait for the sand to smell and so i have somebody to talk to i'm lonely come on so actually the the spot that we should probably put it at should definitely be somewhere around here i think this area would be pretty cool and fill it in a bit more and it's also like semi flat right here uh and it's like right next to our base so i think that would be pretty freaking cool just take down this tree uh this is probably about the size area that we need so we can keep the uh the cherry blossom trees or uh the cherry trees i don't know why i call them blossom trees cherry trees um so those can stay and it actually gives that really cool petal effect and, and that sort of stuff so it, it would be like the perfect area to put it right here uh and then we walk up to it and it's like boom brewing stand 
So yeah, uh, I'm just going to leave that there real quick. But I'll be right back with you guys whenever this glass gets done smelting. Uh, it's going to take a little while. So, oh boy. Oh my gosh, and I ran out of coal in there. Is this one? Yeah, that needs a little bit more. All right, but yeah, I'm going to be right back with you guys here in just a jiffy. Wow, 43, 43, cool. All right, everybody, we're back. Um, so I did a little bit of work, not too much, nothing too crazy. Don't worry. I'm just in a hole. So I did mine out that area, um, or this area that I need. Uh, it doesn't look like anything too special, but if we do a cool thing that like, like, like this, so we go, I should make the, the sides like black concrete or something like that. Yeah, I, that's for a future day. So if I do something like this, so we get magenta stained glass at the bottom and then purple stained glass above it, and then we alternate it. And we do that up to seven blocks. You could barely tell that there's a shroom light down there, right? So we just got to do that like a whole bunch of times. So we just do magenta stained glass on the bottom. So I did count uh, how many blocks uh, are on each layer and it is 50 uh, yes okay thank god thank god i have a silk touch pickaxe now but it is 52 blocks per layer meaning we need 52 times seven yeah i went up seven blocks so i made it in this kind of abnormal shape because i thought it would look a lot better than a uniform shape because uh, it's kind of supposed to be like a a crack in the ground, I guess. Um, nothing like super duper crazy or anything like that. But I do want to have like a crystal above uh, and that has like, or at least um, stained glass panes that kind of look like magics going into the, the brewing stand. That would be freaking amazing, I think. So we'll see how far we get with this. Um, and if... I want to then i might i might do that this episode but uh i do need to go to bed at a reasonable time and i did get off of work late today so we'll we'll see what happens <laughs> but it might look pretty freaking cool also that uh that warp stem right right there kind of scared me and it, it looked like hero brian because i don't have my glasses on uh okay um Cool. Well, the uh, for those of you, I know this is a gaming channel, so I highly doubt, but I I know there are like a lot of sports watchers who are also gamers because you know we're just cool like that. Um, if anybody watching this uh, is a an NFL fan, football fan, American football fan, uh, and uh, you're watching, who is the team you are rooting for to go to the Super Bowl? That's in the playoffs. Yeah, I know some people, they didn't get their team into the playoffs. Boo-hoo. I'm a Lions fan, by the way. <laughs> uh, I, I'm very, very happy and so excited to see how they do in the playoff games. I think I don't think they're going to make it all the way to the Super Bowl, to be honest. But I think Dan Campbell has done an... Um, 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 uh, I'm fumbling on my words. Uh, d has done an amazing job with the team for the past... How long has it been? Two years? Yeah, two years. He's done an amazing job with the Lions for the past couple of years. And so I think he just needs like at least one more year, like at least one more year. And maybe he'll make it to the Super Bowl or at least to a uh, division championship. I'm definitely looking forward to the uh, the Lions Rams game this weekend. Uh, it's the wild card round. So that means um, all but two teams play. The Lions play the Rams this weekend. That should be a really good game. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully, uh, I watch it with a few friends. That would be freaking amazing. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to that. But let me know what your guys' favorite NFL team is and also who you are rooting for in the playoffs. Oh, let's see what that looks like. Go into F1 and get rid of that weird box. Oh, man. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking cool. It kind of... It already looks kind of cool with just like the crack in the ground, but I do, I really do want to make glass panes and kind of have it, have it look like magic is coming down from the sky. Just like God is sending in a beam of magic energy onto this brewing stand. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get rid of this dirt block now. Uh, 
So, actually, uh, I do want to put it up one more. Maybe we should make that purple. Nah, I kind of like how it, like, merges and it looks like it's just randomly going up. So then, boom, right there. Nicely done, me. Cool. Cool beans. So we got that. We just need a little bit more glass, and then we can work on that magic. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's nighttime. Perfect. I'm not going to sleep this time because I want to see how this looks. So I put the shroom lights at the bottom. Oh, oh, it does. It does illuminate. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I actually worked. Also, why did I make more purple? I thought I needed more purple glass. No, I need more magenta. I'm an idiot. Damn it. Well, now we got random purple glass. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, my God. That looks freaking awesome. Oh, I think. Thank the heavens that worked. All right. Well, now we can uh, we can either sleep or we can stay up and make our Minecraft players suffer and not sleep. Do how how long is it? Is it like two days or is it three Minecraft days um, of no sleep before Phantom spawn? I think it might be two, right? I wouldn't be surprised. It feels like after two days, they they just spawn and they bombard you. Because they're annoying. God. Least fun mob in the game. I wish they got rid of it. I wish they would get rid of features in this game instead of just continually adding more. Like, I, I feel like everybody would be on board about removing the Phantom. But they're like, nope, you guys put it in. We aren't going to remove it. And it's like, why? They just give you phantom membranes, which you use for an elytra, or to a repair an elytra. But, like, mending books are so freaking easy to come by. Like, I have a mending villager over there. <laughs> like, why do, why do we need, why do we need, uh, phantom membranes whenever we can just do that? And it's like, well, you see, we just don't want to take it out of the game. And it's like, but why? And they're like, and then we ask, what's the reason? And they're like, because we don't want to. And it's like, you got to be kidding. Uh, 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 I accidentally pressed the slow zoom button. My bad. But no, I, gosh. Sometimes this game makes me so mad, and sometimes I wish I could just walk up to Corbin and be like, boom, we're changing this game. We're, we're taking out some of the features. So, some of the features can stay, though, because some of them are actually kind of cool. But for the most part, mm -mm. dog armor, need to make it better. Need to make different like levels of it. It can't just be one one single dog armor. And also add, add dog armor trimming to the game, along with horse armor trims. Like, what? What? Why, why was that not added? Why was it not thought of? What is wrong with you, Mojang? Why are you doing this? Why? But, okay, well, we are, um... Actually, I didn't need this purple stained glass because we need to do the magic uh, that gets sent to the, the brewing stand. So, yeah, I just... Well, we finished that up, and now I need to get the glass panes. Uh, I'm definitely going to sleep for this one, I think. Probably It probably will be easier to build in the day. Also, I need to take off my Christmas skin. I just realized that. Oh, yeah. Uh, just so you guys know. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at little... Oh, can, do I... Oh, look at look at Baby Yoda. It's a Baby Yoda Christmas sweater, by the way, uh, for those of you wondering. Um, it's actually based on one that I have in real life. <laughs> I got it from Target like a few years ago. And that thing is freaking awesome. It's so comfy. It's a little bit tight now. I've grown a little bit since I got it, but it it's still amazing as ever. And I, I really love it. So I decided to make my skin using it my, uh, for Christmas, around Christmas time. And I think it looks pretty freaking dope. Okay, so we'll do something like that. Uh, and then like that. Break that off. Ooh. Building with glass panes in survival is probably going to be like one of the most, or has to be one of the most painful things a player can ever experience, especially one that's not good at parkour like me. 
Okay, well, we will just try this. Uh, this away, do a long one right down here. A big old fat one. Oops. Do something like that. Uh, definitely need to. Definitely need one like right here. I think it needs to be a little bit more, more dense down around here. So then it looks a lot better. And we also need to go up with it a little bit more. I think because we're, we're going to want to like populate this because the more that we have, the better it'll look. I think uh, it's going to. OK, well, I just threw my pick. That's awesome. Let's go into free camp. I need to have a little bit more right here, I think, and go up a little bit higher with it. See how that looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That looks really good. Okay. So do that. Gather up all my blocks. Um, Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Heck, yeah. Heck, yeah. Because whenever... Eventually, I'm going to have, like, trails or paths... Uh, that lead, that look kind of like this, I think, that will lead uh, to that area, the area right there, and over here now. So we walk up, and it's like, boom, freaking cool, and then that. Uh, maybe we should do something, like, around it. I kind of want to do a perimeter around it, but I can't really think of anything that would look pretty cool right now. So... It's fun. It's functional, you know. Brewing stands are pretty cool, uh, and it also looks pretty magical, I think. And uh, with the the like rose petals falling, oh, it just looks so awesome. Such a good vibe. What a nice build. I'm happy with it. Hopefully, you guys are too. Sadly, uh, you guys had to wait two weeks for me to put purple purple glass into the ground. <laughs> but uh, I'm back, and I hope you guys are here for it. Uh, I, I appreciate every single one of you who've been patient while I haven't been uploading videos because I am a very inconsistent man. I'm I'm not I'm not good at those sort of stuff. Uh, what sometimes things come and go. Uh, sometimes I, I get busy and I can't actually make videos and I feel really bad. But uh, this time around, it was kind of I I'm just I'm lazy, I think. So yeah, but. We're, we're back with this video and it shouldn't be another two weeks before the next one. So you guys don't have to really worry about that. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Like the video if you did like it. And I will, man, I just completely forgot my outro, I guess. But I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Brewing Stan says goodbye. And I say goodbye as well. Bye-bye.